On Friday, October 11th, Kentucky Transportation Cabinet District 12 began their annual snow and ice training at their maintenance headquarters in Shelbyana. Road workers spent the day going over safety procedures and getting a refresher course on what to expect in the winter months. This training is done in the interest of both the cabinets and the public safety. We go through several different topics like uh, how to prepare for a storm, what to expect, things they need to actually pay attention to when they're out there. Uh, public, mostly it's uh, safety oriented driven for both public and us. Once we get this training done, we'll, we'll calibrate our trucks and get our rates where we need them to be at uh, applying salt and uh, calcium use for out on the roads when the snow does actually hit. Journey into the extraordinary. Blast off from any of our three locations. Coal Run, Caney, or South Williamson. Hideaway, novelty smoke and vape. When training new road workers, veteran cabinet members talk about their experiences and stories when out on icy roads. This gives them a better idea of how to handle themselves during a winter storm. You might throw in some experiences that maybe some of our veteran drivers have went through in the past through storms that they've actually done. and it, it just kind of drives the, the message home to the young drivers that have not experienced that yet. It kind of gets them ready for that when, when they share stories. It gives them a, a visual of what to expect because if they're a brand new driver, they don't know what to expect in a snowstorm. They don't know how bad it could actually be. And when it is, what, what do they do to, when they're out there? We don't make them snow plow drivers automatically by doing this training. This training just it's just repetitive, a lot of stuff is repetitive and it actually gets them thinking about and get them in the mode of uh, it's snow and ice season and I gotta change my way of actually driving and, and way of preparing. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.